Adelphi Church wants more money from the state for its property, which is in the way of the Hoosier Heartland Highway project. Good evening, I'm Jeff Smith. News Channel 18's Brittany Tyner joins us now with more on the story. Brittany? Leaders of the Delphi Pentecostal Church believe the amount offered to the church by the Indiana Department of Transportation is not comparable to the value of the property. The church's pastor says he's upset by the state's appraisal. Three buildings, 3.3 acres of land, and one low offer. That's what the pastor of the Delphi Pentecostal Church, Tim Stewart, says he has to lose. NDOT has appraised the church, located just north of Delphi on State Road 25, for $535,000. NDOT appraisers came and they gave us the, the evaluation, which we did not think was anything close to being adequate. So Stewart and other church leaders decided to fight back. And because of our resistance to that, of their, their desire to take our land at that price, uh, we have filed a countersuit. The church has filed a lawsuit to get fair compensation for its buildings and land. In order to help determine the value of the property, court-ordered appraisers surveyed the land. They are expected to file reports on Friday with the Carroll County Circuit Court. And from there, I guess it's roughly 20 days or something of that nature as to the, you know, the, the back and forth to determine as to really where it's going to fall. NDOT spokesman Jim Pinkerton says it's always NDOT's desire to pay fair market value for whatever property is needed for a big project like the Hoosier Heartland. He says this is true for one reason and one reason only. The entire Hoosier Heartland Corridor project is about a $450 million project. Uh, and when you're talking about uh, you know, that type of expenditure, we obviously want to make sure that we are good stewards of the taxpayer dollar. Stewart says the congregation is searching for a different location for the church. He says they want a place that is easily accessible for the church's current members. Stewart says the search is still a work in progress. Rennie Tyner, News Channel 18.